Folks, welcome back. This week in Pokeverse news, all the conversation revolves around card altering. Ooh, specifically in the world of card altering. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Kurt Card Care. Ba ba bum. And everyone's giving their takes on the old interwebs. And of course, how you would expect it to be. Many people are taking the holier than thou stance as everything Kurt's card care does is wrong. Anytime you do anything to a card other than pull it out of the pack, put it directly in a sleeve and send it to PSA that way is 100% wrong. And if you do that, then you're a scammer and all this other stuff. And so I've given my take in my Discord and other comment sections, but I thought I'd make a video on it to give the free thinkers take and not just the jump on the bandwagon and agree with what everyone else thinks and you don't want to step outside the box and you don't want to step outside the lines and, and get hated on for it. And I thought, hey, I'm the perfect person to do it because I'm already the pariah and the hated person in this Pokemon community. I can't really sink any lower. And so what the heck? I'll give my take on the whole Kurtz card care situation. Before I do that, though, guys, I do want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, it's Arizona TCG. So for all of you who do want to sell these PSA, CDC, BGS slabs with all these altered cards in them, check out Arizona TCG. They'll do all the work for you. Down at the bottom, they have this fancy schmancy tool where you can actually kind of estimate what your cards are going to sell for and see exactly how much you're going to get for them with Arizona TCG. So let's say you sell a $200 card, right? Well, you're going to take home about $167.50 selling it yourself on eBay after fees and shipping. But Arizona TCG, you're going to take home around $173 with them doing all the work for you. And so it might make sense to have them do the work. If you do want to check out Arizona TCG, the link will be in the description and the comment section below. Now, if you don't know what's going on with this whole card altering, card cleaning situation, you can go on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find other videos about it. Obviously, Rattle is on the case. PSA cracks down on Kurt's card altering. And then typical Rattle fashion, he's already released another video on it because what Rattle likes to do is beat that dead horse until it is no longer moving from the beatings. And then he moves on, you know, 10, 20 videos later. Um, and then we've got, you know, Orion. And uh, he, Orion's been on the channel before. He's given his, he, he gives his uh, thoughts on it. And so you can listen to him. And there's other, uh, you know, creators that have given their thoughts on it as well. If you don't want to watch the videos, guess what? There's forums you can go look at it on. There's blowout cards. There's Reddits and everywhere else talking about the old Kurtz Card Care situation. If you don't know who Kurtz Card Care is, he's got a website where he sells cleaning materials, cleaning paraphernalia on um, cleaning your cards and different tools and solutions and things like that. And so uh, that's Kurtz Card Care. And to be honest with you, I've uh, talked to Kurt before. Uh, a good while ago, I was going to have him on the channel for a live stream to talk about this. But, uh, you know, he was telling me, you know, I'm not really a Pokemon guy. I'm more of a sports guy. I don't really know much about Pokemon. The conversation would really just revolve around the business and, and card cleaning. And we were like, yeah, maybe that's not the best idea for a whole stream. So we didn't go forward with it. My whole interaction with him, you know, he was a very nice guy. It seems like he runs a very good business. And so what happened now is he came under attack from PSA because he probably made a mistake. Um, he probably pushed the line a little too much with the things he does. And then he also tagged PSA in the, in the uh, post. And so PSA had to respond. Now they're cracking down on, on him and, and what he does. And so I'm going to give my thoughts on the whole slew of different things, card altering versus card cleaning. And uh, you guys can, you know, trash me in the comment section as much as you want afterwards, because I know the reason that content creators make this content, right? They know it drives engagement. They know it's going to create two different sides and those two sides are going to fight in the comment section because there's a lot of people that see no nuance in things and they just want to fight about things. And, you know, you got, you got the holier than thou people and you got the people who want to make money and they all clash. And uh, it's really funny to watch, but uh, that's one of the reasons I think these videos are made is because it's good for uh, YouTube. But uh, I just want to make this video to give kind of a clear free thinkers take so you don't kind of uh, get drugged down by you know, getting on, you know, one side bandwagon and just, you know, saying, well, it's all bad or it's all good. So first off, I want to say this. If you're going to sell a car, you're probably not going to drive it to the dealership as is. You are going to clean it and detail it every possible thing you can do to make that car look, that car look pristine. And you're going to drive it to the dealership and you're probably going to get more money for it than if you wouldn't have. Now, nothing wrong with that, correct? 
if there's something wrong with the car and you open up the hood and you finick around with stuff under the hood and you get some bubble gum and paper clips and get it going. And then, you know, the buyer or the dealership doesn't know anything's wrong with it. So you sell it. And then like 50, hundred miles later, that little contraption breaks and they figure out, oh, wow, this car's got problems. That's wrong. Correct. So rights and wrongs, right? There, there's nuance. Okay. Also, I want to say before we get any deeper, not to get political, but remember the, you know, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton debates during that election. And, you know, he, Trump was getting all the BS about his, his taxes. And he basically said in a, in a live debate, he said, hey, if you don't like the tax code, you've been in Congress forever, change it. And I'll go, I will go according to the new law. And that's kind of the same thing I feel with PSA. If you have a problem with something going on, come out and say it change the rules, change the laws, and people will have to abide by them, right? Come out with a machine to detect these things. People will abide by them, right? And so that brings us into this discussion. Card altering is 100% a no-no, wrong. Trimming a card, pretty easy to tell, right? You can put that card with another stack of cards and it's obviously off. You can tell it's trimmed, but it's 100% wrong either way, okay? Don't trim your cards, um, card inking, you know, putting like blue ink or like a magic gathering, they try to sharpie the borders to take away the whiting. Um, it should be pretty easy to detect. I think PSA can detect that other grading companies can detect it under a microscope. Um, you can kind of see it on the edge of the borders, things like that, but it's a no, no it's wrong. And honestly, it's probably going to be detected anyway. Don't even try it. Right. So those two are hundred percent wrong, right? hundred percent the wrong column. Now what Kurt does, which I have never done. I, uh, I don't really agree with it. I think it's kind of wrong too, but, um, what he does, uh, with his, some of his, uh, card cleaning, altering, if you want to call it, is he applies a chemical to the cards. He puts them in a humididor or something that uh, extracts the humidity or the, the, the moisture out of the card. And what it does, it, 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 kind of, it can get out denting in the cards. It can get out those little nail marks. It can get out some creasing and it can actually improve the car a lot and really improve the grades, like multiple number grades. And uh, a lot of people don't like this. And I agree, it's, it's for good reason. You don't know the lasting effects that the chemicals in there are gonna have over time. Maybe it reverts back, maybe it discolors the card over time. And after it's in the PSA case, you buy it as a PSA 10 over time and erodes and now it looks like a PSA 5, right? So I get that. I do understand people being upset about that. And I'm, I, I don't really agree with it either, Kurt. You know, that's, that's just the way it is. Now, let's go to the other side of things. You know, the holier than thou people. You shouldn't touch the card. It should come out of the sleeve, go straight into the PSA submissions holder and send it in, right? Or if you buy a collection on eBay and it comes in, it's got a bunch of vintage cards and it's got like, you know, dirt and all kind of grime and, and you know, scratches everywhere. Just take them out of the binder, send them in and whatever grade you get, you get. I'm not in that mindset either, right? I don't think see anything wrong with cleaning your cards. What I mean by cleaning your cards? Well, Kurt's got a solution, or if you just want to use just some water, right? Or, you know, rubbing alcohol, whatever you want to use, right? And you want to put that on a cotton ball or a microfiber towel, and you want to do some light rubbing of the card to get some of that dirt out, to get some of those hairline scratches out, to get any of those little, 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 little like smudges, anything like that off the card. Guys, I really don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think a lot of people think there's some stuff wrong with it. I know there are some of the purists out there who hate anything that has to do with that. I do not consider that altering the card. You are not affecting the integrity of the card in any way, in my opinion. And so, yes, I got cursed card care. Yes, I've cleaned my cards. Yes, I probably owe some of my PSA 10s to doing that. By the way, I've graded thousands of cards in my lifetime with PSA. I've never had any issues grading cars, never had any of them sent back to me. Um, good relationship with PSA, right? And so I don't think PSA or anyone uh, grading cars really cares about you cleaning. And I, honestly, I don't know if there's even a way to tell they've been cleaned after the fact or after like, you know, you, you wipe them off and you wipe them with a dry microfiber towel and they're, and they're clean. I don't know if there's a way to even tell they've been cleaned, right? It's just, I mean, whatever. Uh, now, so that, that, that's where I stand there. Now, right smack dab in the middle of obvious altering being wrong and cleaning being okay sits the polishing of the cards, right? That's where you really get into a, a, a hardcore debate. And I'm going to be honest, I see both ways. I'm, I'm, I'm right on the fence on that. 
I see the people who don't like it. I understand the people that do like it. Obviously, the people that do like it, they're the, they're the hardcore graders. They want to get the top grades to make the most money. Uh, the people on the other side, they're the purists. Um, they don't think anything applied to a card should happen. It should be how it is out of the pack. And, uh, you know, cleaning, it's okay. But, like, polish, that's really, you know, that can really change the, the uh, appearance of the card. And I get that. And uh, I'm in the middle on it, guys. I, I'm not going to give you a for sure yes or no what I think you should do on that. I will say the polish does drastically improve the card. It 100% does remove hollow scratches. It 100% does remove um, the back scratching that you'll see on cards, like where you'll see scratches on the back, especially along the borders that you'll see come out of the packs straight from the printing company from Pokemon. Um, it can remove, like we see in a lot of the Scarlet Violet era stuff, some of that like smudging you'll see maybe from the printer where it has like the, that weird like smudging straight down the middle of the backs of the cards. It does remove that. And so uh, again, I, I, I'm torn. I, I think you should have a, an opportunity to remove some of that stuff because let's be honest, you pulling a brand new card out of a pack, it should be in good condition. And if and Pokemon can't get their act together from not printing things with scratches and not printing things with all kind of different like uh, smudging and things on the cards, um, if you can remove that smudging, I mean, make the card look better. I get it. I do get it. Um, if you're buying an, an old vintage collection and that person played with the cars and there's dirt and there's scratching all over it, if you can remove some of that, I get it. You want your car to look nicer. I get it. You don't want to, you know, scratch up terrible looking car with a bunch of dirt specks all over it. Hey, I'm, I'm with you. Right. And so, you know, he, here's where I stand with that. I'm, I'm kind of with Trump on that. Right. Like if you don't like it, change the laws. Right. If PSA doesn't like it, come up with some kind of machine that can detect it's been polished and start, you know, returning every polished card and saying, you know, we're not accepting any more polish. And if you send it in and we detect it, we're sending it back and you're not getting a refund and you're not getting your card graded. That, that would probably, you know, end the whole discussion, right? But if they're not going to do that and continue to grade the cards, why would people not do it if it's going to help their card look better? I don't know. Um, then there's other little things like, you know, he's got different tools for helping the edges and the whiting on the edges on cards. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even against that. Like guys, you know, if you, if you pull a card out of a pack, it's got a little white dot on the corner and you take your fingernail and you kind of like, see if it, you can, you know, kind of drag your fingernail on the top on the, on the corner and it gets rid of that white marker. It at least makes it look a little better. Is that wrong? I don't think so. But other people would say, Alex, that's wrong. You're, you're, you're manipulating the card again. Again, I don't think it, it destroys the integrity of the card, like, like actually altering it does. So I'm okay with that. And so as you can see, guys, I'm definitely in the middle of the road on this. And I think a lot of people are. And I think that needs to be talked about. You need to be able to be a free thinker in this hobby. Don't get bullied into thinking that anything you're doing is wrong uh, just because some big YouTubers or a lot of people in a forum, you know, all say it's wrong. The truth is, guys, you know, most of the people that all comment, they just want their voices to be heard. And uh, the people that aren't commenting are the ones that either don't care or they they do it and they do it themselves. And that's probably the majority of people that just don't care. Um, but the ones that you know do care, really, you know, hardcore, they're going to be the ones that comment, right? And so you're gonna, you're going to think it's it's the most people like just don't get too wrapped up in what other people think. Um, and uh, you know, do what you, do what you want, do what you think's right. Um, you can let me know in my comments if you think I'm dead wrong on this, if you think I'm, you know, a terrible person for cleaning my card or whatever. Um, and we can we can go from there. It's fine. Like I said, I'm I'm already hated and a pariah in this Pokemon community anyway. And so uh, it, it just doesn't bother me at this point. I'd rather just speak my mind and be free to talk about whatever I want to talk about and uh, give you guys a real opinion. So that's it. That's the opinion. Take it or leave it for what it is. Um, you know, I, I wish everyone the best. I wish, you know, Kurt the best, you know, and going through this whole... Uh, this whole fiasco, maybe it'll change the way he does business. Maybe it'll change some of the products he offers. Maybe he'll stop some of the things that maybe are a little more on the borderline of being wrong. And uh, maybe it'll just kind of promote his product more for the things that I believe aren't really wrong, like a cleaning solution and some pads and some tools that help your cards. You know, so that, that's where I am on that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be back here in a new one soon. I'm out.